We're going to go back into worship, but I want to have my daughter come up and pray. This is Keturah. She's the reason why I'm here. And, and when, I, when I became a father, that day that I became a father, she's 11 years old, 11 years ago. And I held her in my arms for the first time. I knew my life was more about her destiny than about my own. I don't care, man. New York Times shredded me today. All those guys, they could shred me. I don't give a rip. I'm living for the next generation. They can say whatever the heck they want to say. They can call us white nationalists. They can call us racist. They can call us homophobic. They can call us whatever. They do all that stuff, and they're going to keep doing all that stuff. But they're never going to get me to stop fighting for my kids. Nothing is going to get me to stop fighting for my kids. And I really feel, even as Tura prays, I just wanted to pray, because I believe that this generation has been one of the most assaulted, maybe in human history. They're, they're dealing with stuff that we didn't have to deal with in the 80s and 90s. They're dealing with crazy amounts of propaganda. They're dealing with crazy amounts of, of, of indoctrination in the schools and, and TV. It's subtle. And a lot of it, we don't even realize that it's happening. But it's happening because this generation is the one that's going to bring revival to the earth. This generation is the one that's going to crush the head of the serpent. That's why the enemy is coming after them with such fury. And I'm telling you, we have Tara. She prayed in front of the White House. She prayed a beautiful prayer in front of the White House. Said, God, those people are really scared in the White House. Turn on the lights for them. That was powerful. So I haven't prepped her. I don't know what she's going to pray, but she's going to pray something and we're all going to agree. Amen. And I want to say this even before she does that, because we're about to get wild here in a minute. Wild is good. So here's my takeaways. Y'all just showed up and did a big rah, 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 rah rally. No, we didn't. This is about action. Turn to someone and say, this is about action. So I want to read these. These are, the, these are the takeaways from tonight, and then Katura is going to pray. Parents fight back. That's what I call this. Turn to someone and say, parents fight back. One, pray for Disney to have a change of heart. Two, remember your God-given role as a parent to instruct your children in the ways of the Lord. Teach your children the Bible. Make the Bible great again in your home. Number three, refuse to accept the idea that corporations have the right to push woke politics on our children. I'm going to post this later for y'all, so make sure to follow it and repost it. Number four, stand firm as an American citizen and speak the truth boldly. Number five, sign the petition, let your voice be heard. And guess what? I think we're going to do this in Orlando. We're going to do this in Anaheim. We're going to do this till things change at this. All right, Tori, you ready? Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for love and joy to come over everyone. I pray that the... Di that the creators of Disney will open their eyes to see the truth. And I pray that they will experience the love of Jesus. They will not do any more bad movies. And I pray that my generation will see, will be in Christ, not in TV, not in any bad, yeah, bad stories. And I pray that they'll know to let kids be kids. Because I don't want my generation to grow up in bad TV shows or to see bad things that we shouldn't see. I want that it to be in the Bible and the truth. In Jesus' name I declare it. Amen. Amen. <laughs>